Well, here we are. The Festival of Eggs. Quite possibly the second war. This actually, yeah, this is the. This is definitely just as. This is a. I, I don't know, man. With this one, I feel like it's either worse than or just as bad as Merlin's Swamp. Because with Merlin's Swamp, the main problem was that. Either it was super glitchy or the map itself was just too expanded. So finding the armor parts were no was annoying. But then there's this world where just look at this. Look at all of this. To find to get the egg here you have to find like twenty-two tickets. Which are not marked on on the game, so you have to like poke try to find them on your own, which is annoying as hell. As you might be able to tell. And then you also have to find like seven cannons and activate them, which are marked, so thank god for that. But I don't know. I mean, this one ain't that good. This this one's definitely not that good. It's either it's my sec it's my second least favorite. It's my it's uh There's five there's five worlds. So we my top it's my number four, basically. Number one's, uh... Number one would definitely be, uh... uh show... Well, I'll show you, it's a little one, it's a little one. Uh, anyway, you're gonna... You might remember these planes from last year's egg hunt. You know, the one made by the EBR. Uh, yeah, this is... This one has references to all sorts of egg hunts. Look at this over here. Look at this, these are all eggs from last year. Or from previous years actually, just random years. I'm sure you'll remember them. Those of you who have been around Roblox for years. Will remember uh, the Easter Bunny Egg. What, what a classic. I'm sure glad they, they brought that back. <laughs> uh, anyway, in order to start the quest for this secret world's egg thing. You gotta go all the way over here. Just fucking around with the plane because I'm bored. Jump out. Talk to this guy over here. Talk to him and he's gonna tell you to find a guitar. Then you go over here. You go to where that thing is pointing you to go. Now you could take the plane or you could do this. Which is a lot faster than the plane, look at this. As you can clearly tell that that guy is still struggling over there. You talk to this girl. And you gotta find 22 tickets around the entire map. Some of them are on those little uh, spinning circle thingamajigas. I don't know why the fuck I call them spinny thingies, they're not even spinning. And others can just be randomly found in the islands. Like this one right there. So yeah. I don't know, I mean besides how it looks, there isn't really anything that special about this one. I don't know, it's, this one just feels boring to be honest. Like there's no outside of how it looks and the fact that it's like nostalgia nostalgia, I don't know, there's nothing really to it. There's nothing to make it unique, nothing to make it stand out, it's just nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Also, f also more pig. Oh, that's an elephant. And there's a cow being sucked into the ground. And... What the fuck are these things? I can go through the giraffe, this lion doesn't do anything. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's, it was just boring. Like at, at least Merlin Swamp had like the dragon boss. This was just like go on the map f and you go on the map finding tickets and the, get the get the cannons and boom, there you go. Like at least Merlin Swamp and Science Basement had like something unique. Like they had a boss fight. There was a dragon boss fight and. Merlin Swamp, even though it was glitchy as fuck. And Science Basement had like the rat following you all the time. Not to mention the potential sequel bait, which, like I said last time, they better bring him back. 
But here it's just like, go on the map and find whatever the fuck. Like, that's, uh, it's not very original. It's not very unique either, it's just... It's traditional icon stuff. Also, I feel like I should be able to use this to, like... Yeah, I guess not. Alright then, so... Um... Yeah, I don't know what to say about this one. This one's just... It's bland. It's... Ugh. It's kind of boring. Didn't really like it. All things considered, I didn't really like it. The egg you get out of it isn't really that... It, like, at least the egg that you get from this, like, it looks cool. An, an omelette you do homage, if you will. Cheers to the sugar team. That's a picture of an old Roblox game. But, yeah, that's, that's all there is to this one, is just go around finding stuff. Which I, I'll admit is what you do in literally every single other like world in this game, but at least the other worlds have their own unique egg design egg designs and things like that. Here's just like compare compare the egg to to this or to this or to this or this. It's like, you look at it, it's just like, it looks like a trophy, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like an egg, it looks like a trophy. It was like one of those trophies that they give you in, uh, in uh, building competitions, where it's like, it's a replica of a construction that someone else made. That's what it looks like. Oh, hey, I can actually write these books here as well. If I remember the song, I would sing it. See a waterfall? Oh wait, hold on, I want to try that. Can I get off the land? Oh, That would have been funny if I could. Now I can move. Okay. How do I... How do I... How do I think I kill myself? Yeah. Yeah, there really isn't anything that unique about this one. This one's just, uh Skip it. Unless unless you want the Faberge... The Faberge. Unless you want the Faberge egg, just skip this one, honestly. This one's just gonna, ugh. And... Enough. 